Day 3, Invictus Launch Week. Guys, here we are back at the expo. And let's see what the day holds for us. What have they added? I, I can't remember uh, which brand it is. Let's see. Aegis. Aegis Dynamics. Alright, I'm ready. Convention Hall. Okay. We are back. I have really enjoyed these expos. I've learned a lot and you guys have helped me really understand what this game is all about and where it's going. We got another advertisement. What? What was that? What? What the? Okay, I missed it. I still don't know what it was. Oh, it's an EMP! On the Titan? That's awesome. That's cool. He just wanted some peace and quiet. Alright, let's see what day three has to offer us. Wow. Oh, I thought those were helicopters at first from the side. Oh, I don't know where to start. <gasps> the saber. Yes, this is the EMP ship. Okay, you guys, maybe you can notice the distortion kind of around the edge if you look at the top of the engine. That, it, that only happens here in the expo room. I don't know why. I would love- oh, I think I can rent it, can't I? Where's the board? Right here, please. Yes! <laughs> well. Oh, I have so much to do, guys. Okay. I don't know anything about it other than, well, maybe there's some information. Part of Aegis Dynamics Phase 2 of new ship models, the Sabre was designed as a space superiority fighter for those situations where you need to leave a lighter footprint. Designed to be a rapid responder, the Sabre is more than capable of establishing battlefield dominance for any number of combat scenarios. Alright, just a fighter. Look at this blue one. That looks like a real life fighter jet. What is it? Saber Comet. Oh man, I love the skin. Yes, please. <laughs> Can't believe I get to try this stuff. Look at that digital camo. Alright. Next up is... The Retaliator. I just love this ship. This is the ship with torpedoes. Simon has probably the coolest one I've ever seen with the blue and gold UEE skin. Okay, we've been in there a bunch of times. They updated it, updated it, new docking collar, and some other 
fixes. But absolutely gorgeous ship. And this looks like another version. I don't know what the differences are. But really cool ships. Did we see this one? Yeah, that's no. Hang on. Saber Firebird. Nice. Gatling guns. Man, that thing has a fancy looking design. Can we go inside? Ooh. Oh. Ho, ho. Systems green. Systems green. Oh, that is that is pleasant. That is just nice to look at. Alright, you guys have probably noticed if you visited the Expo Hall, it's incredibly glitchy and it's almost impossible to record a video in here. So if you notice some uh, below standard cuts in this video, that's why. So it's another retaliator over here. There's so many different versions. Oh, is, or is it just three retaliators? All the same. Huh. Alright, let's go to the first event hall. This is the lightning. I think I didn't rent it because I didn't go to the board. But if I go to the right place, can I rent it? No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, they were saying that you can rent it uh, on another day, maybe. Okay. Let's go this way. And let's see what we have. Yeah, Simon loves these ships. What are they called? What's that? What's that? What? That is a baby Carrick right there, right? But let's see what these are called first. The Vanguard. Yeah. Simon loves these ships. These are cool. We did uh, my first turret combat with Simon there. What is this thing? I have never seen this. Redeemer. Man, they have such epic names. Gotta rent that for sure. Alright. What's this? That's a... That is a giant turret. Wow. Okay, I bet it's gonna do some cool transformation when you put the landing gear up. By the way, wouldn't it be cool to have a taxiing option when you land? Especially for the ships with wheels to be able to kind of roll around the on the ground. Again, the detail. Wow. The reps and engineers are a common fixture at the Academy and Naval Bases to try and get first hand wow. accounts of what works and what doesn't in their ships. Oh, you know what? I have been on this ship briefly. 
It's your right to inspect the latest acquisitions of the UEE Navy. Let's go see up there. Weapons rack. Yeah, this is weird. What is this? Absolutely no idea. The UEE Navy Turret access. Alright. Really nice ship. Very nice. Welcome to the Invictus ship. All of these vehicles you see on Okay, let's go to the next one. What do we have here? Yes, the Gladys or Gladius, I can't ever remember. Gladys. Can't rent it. Oh man. I think I've s seen. Oh, is this. What is this? Hammerhead? No. Where's the sign? Yeah! Hammerhead. I have yet to pilot this thing. But this is an iconic Star Citizen ship. So I hear. Beautiful. All right, let's go downstairs. Guys, I'm so sorry if this video is kind of short and without many details. It is so glitchy. It's practically impossible to even walk around here. So there's nothing down here in the first section. Let's go over here. There should be holograms around the corner, which are often really cool to see. Yes, oh, these holograms. Wow, that is cool. So these are concept ships. This is Aegis Vulcan. What's the purpose of this thing? Refuel, repair, rearm. Okay. Maybe this is what Simon was saying is like the all-in-one carrier. Let's see what the other hologram is. Ooh. What in the world? Nautilus. With four centuries of distinguished service under its belt, the Aegis Dynamics Nautilus Tactical Mine Layer represents the ultimate strategic combat engineering with fully integrated mine deployment, sweeping, and disarming capabilities. <laughs> what? So we gotta watch out for mines also. How funny is that? Looks awesome though. All right, it looks like that's it for Invictus launch week day three. And the expo hall is just too glitchy, too stuttery to make any kind of in-depth video. And I'm really sorry about that, but if you followed me this far, I really thank you. And don't forget, I have my first members only video up if you're interested in that. And our very first member, Spaghettified Ryan from Missouri. So. Thank you guys for everything and see you for day four.